So the new Battle Royale program is here. We have our three new flawless rewards, Ryan Braun, Hal Newhauser, and Chili Davis, three legends. In the comment section, I'm really interested to see your thoughts on this program as a whole, and then obviously, specifically, the three new flawless rewards. One thing to keep in mind is if we go to the calendar and check the upcoming content on December 21st, in about 16 days or so, we can see that we get another new Battle Royale program. So this program doesn't last that long. It only lasts a little bit more than two weeks. We can see up at the top, 15 days, 23 hours. And I don't know how to feel about this. I get that it's a short program. It's a short amount of time. But if we go through the program right here, and then I'll check the missions for y'all and show you guys the missions in a second. If we check the program, both of these silver packs are rewind packs, meaning they have previous silver cards. And then there's gold rewind and diamond rewind and then gold and diamond again. And you might notice all of these are rewind packs. We don't have any new silver, gold, or diamond players. Now, at 100 points, just like usual, and then 95, you are able to get previous flawless rewards, and you're able to get a non-sellable choose one of the three flawless rewards. But to me, this late in the year, this is... I, I don't know. I just... I don't like that we're not getting new cards. The only three new cards are the program cards. We don't have any other new diamonds, any other new golds, any other new silvers. I get that it's only a 16 day long program. It doesn't last very long, but I don't know, man, this late in the year, to me, this is when we should be getting more new cards, more exciting cards. But if we go ahead and take a look at the missions, we can see any BR exclusive silver players and it's repeatable 500 parallel XP. Same thing with the gold. There's just one mission. It's repeatable, 500. Any gold BR exclusive, if you're wondering what the exclusive BR cards are, it's literally just the program cards. I would assume if we draft a team, maybe we'll check that towards the end of the video, I would assume we're still going to have one diamond round of program cards, one gold round and one silver round. Obviously, you would be able to get more pop-up. There's tons of flashbacks. So this is probably going to be the easiest battle royale program we've had all year it's the same thing with the diamond mission 500 repeatable parallel xp but to me this late in the year personally this is when i want to see more new cards more exciting cards this is not when i personally want to see no new cards besides just the flawless ones i don't know man i feel like this late in the year when the player base is getting smaller people are looking for fun things to do to keep them playing and will be the show and play other games like, I don't know if this is going to be enticing people to play MLB The Show and grind out the BR program. But with that being said, it's probably, it looks like, going to be the easiest program of the year. The quickest one to get done, which makes sense because it's probably the shortest one we've had. It only lasts a little bit longer than two weeks. And my bad for taking so long to get to it, but now we can go ahead and take a look at the new Flawless Rewards. Three Legends for the Year. MVP Ryan Braun the 2011 season that reminds me I really want to get Matt Kemp in MLB the show 24 have some prime some 99 overall Matt Kemp cards but let's take a look at the juicer Ryan Braun MVP from the 2011 season max contact versus each side righty and lefty 104 power versus right-handed pitching 115 power versus left-handed pitching 102 vision and then max clutch just like his contact 89 fielding in left field also plays center right and third base 83 arm strength 85 arm accuracy 82 reaction and 82 speed with some decent stealing ratings as well for ryan braun performs better during night games first pitch hitter breaking ball hitter fastball hitter bad ball hitter situational hitter so a lot of good quirks a very good hitting card and really not that bad of a fielding card either with some pretty solid speed too i'm excited for this as a cardinals fan growing up in wisconsin i got to see ryan braun play a ton a lot of friends would be talking about ryan braun stuff like that so i'm excited for this card i'm excited to use this card hal newhauser i've never been the biggest fan of using him but we get a 99 overall retro finest starting pitcher hal newhauser 
120 for his hits per nine, 116 strikeouts per nine, 93 walks per nine. I think that walks per nine rating has to do a little bit with the control as well. We can see max down homers per nine, only 108 for the pitching clutch. So 120 hits per nine, but with runners in scoring position, that goes down to 108. I didn't mention it, but he does have max 125 stamina and then 90 control, 99 velo, 99 break. If we take a look in the top right, we can see the velo on each pitch. We can see the control on each of his pitches and then the pitch break on each of those for this Hal Newhauser. He performs better in the day at home and he has break outlier. The pitches lose less break when he gets tired. And that is the second flawless reward, the 99 overall. Hal Newhauser, and then the final card is a retro finest designated hitter, Chili Davis. Now, he does play left center or right field with 62 speed, 85 fielding, which really isn't too bad at all for a DH card. He's a switch hitter. I love me some 99 overall switch hitters. 121 for his contact versus righties, maxed out 125 versus lefties, 106 power versus right handed pitching, 105 versus left handed pitching. 104 vision, 125 discipline, and 120 clutch with his 62 speed on this DH, this retro finest, Chili Davis. We can see a day player performs better when playing day games. First pitch hitter excels at hitting fastballs and breaking balls, which is always nice to see a combination of those. A situational hitter as well. And that is Chili Davis, the third of the flawless rewards. So again, we have 99 Ryan Braun. Hal Newhauser and Chili Davis as the three new flawless rewards. You want to keep playing some BR, keep earning some rewards. You got some extra packs and stubs. One ball in is a habit pack if you get all the way to 120. 10 standards at 130. 3,000 stubs at 140. And then 20 packs at 150. Again, kind of an underwhelming program. I don't know how y'all feel about these rewards. I could see myself using Chili Davis just because I love switch hitters, but being a primary DH and then with the outfield positions, especially once December 21st rolls around, I think I might have some options I would probably choose over this Chili Davis card. Hal Newhauser, I just haven't been a big fan of using his cards. And then Ryan Braun, I'm actually decently excited for. I don't know if I would really use him consistently on my God Squad, but just growing up in Wisconsin, seeing a lot of Brewers games, I enjoyed watching Ryan Braun play, kind of made the rivalry between the Brewers and the Cardinals fun, and it makes me excited to use this card. But again, a little bit to me personally, obviously everyone has their own opinions, but an underwhelming program at this point in the year, I, I would be wanting to see more new cards, but this is a short program, only 16 days, should be the easiest and the quickest to get done based on these missions. But I'm also hoping that on December 21st, again, if we go back and check the calendar, we're getting another new BR program on December 21st, and I'm hoping they don't do the same thing. I'm hoping we get new silvers, new golds, and new diamonds. I'm not going to be using those cards anyways in ranked seasons, but I think it makes the BR programs fun and just battle royale fun getting new cards to use because it's not like you can have an all diamond team you have to choose some diamonds some golds and some silvers and for me it's fun getting new cards to use rather than just using the same ones we've been using all year especially this late in the year when i'm trying to find reasons to play and will be the show over other games i would much rather be getting more new cards instead of less new cards but i'm curious how y'all feel I'm very interested to see your thoughts down in the comment section. I will say, even though to me this is a little bit underwhelming of a BR program, I'm very excited for Friday's content, December 8th, the finest other program. 799 overall retro finest players, including what looks like finally should be a God Squad worthy Willie Mays. So if we're actually getting a usable, a really, really good Willie Mays, I'll be so excited for that. I'm curious to see what those 799 overall retro finest cards are looking like, what the program's looking like, and I think I'm definitely more excited for December 8th than today's content, but I'm curious to see what you think of that new BR program, maybe who you're hoping the legends are in that program on Friday. Drop a like, 
feel free to subscribe for daily uploads and i will see you in tomorrow's daily upload thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day peace out